day. Okay, so Twitter is nowhere near selling into the sunset, but you can sell <laughs> into the sunset these days. You need a yacht in a hurry? Get My Boat is here to help. The new San Francisco startup is sailing its way through the booming shared economy with peer-to-peer -peer boat rentals. Sasha Mornell is the co-founder and CEO of Get My Boat. He joins us now live from San Francisco. To talk about this, and very simply, if I need a boat, I go to your website or your app, and then I get a boat? It's that simple? It's that simple. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Get My Boat is actually the world's largest peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for all things boats. We have over 11,000 boats in 1,100 locations in over 80 countries. And anyone can go on the website. We also have an iPhone app and an Android app. And so whether it's stingray tours in Thailand, shark diving in South Africa, sailing in Annapolis, or fishing in Florida, we've got it for you. So let me, do I have, if I go to the boat, get my boat app, and I do this, one, does it cost me anything through you, or is it just a private negotiation with the owner of the boat? And then are we talking about huge yachts, or are we talking about my cousin's, you know, leaky canoe up in Maine? Absolutely. It's very easy to go to the website. Anyone can do it. Many of our owners actually take out the novice users, and we do encourage that our owners get uh, boating license information, boating resumes. We also offer insurance through a partner with X Insurance, and they're affiliated with Lloyd's of London. So we do offer security for both boat owners and renters when they're out on the water. And, and give me the average boat. I mean, for instance, I, I bring up Maine. I rented a boat last summer. I don't have a boat license to operate a, a boat in Maine, but I think all you need is your driver's license. If not, I've just busted myself on television. But the average boat, how big? And could you get one of those gigantic yachts? How much? It really varies from owner to owner and by the watercraft. So you may see kayaks in California that go for as little as $15 an hour all the way up to several thousand dollars for a yacht in Croatia. And market conditions vary from state to state. We do encourage the owners to get with renters ahead of time and communicate to discuss what local licensing agreements might need to be in place. And, and the key here is that you have the, uh, the ability to get insurance. If you don't, I, I just got to ask this question because we've seen this with the car rental version of this uh, business model. They get, there are questions about who is actually responsible should, God forbid, something go wrong. Is it you have to get the insurance when you rent the boat or is that up in the air? It really does vary from state to state. And uh, I mentioned since we are worldwide, it varies country to country. So. We do have a partnership with X Insurance, and they offer uh, insurance rentals by the day, by the week, or by the month. So it does give the owners and renters peace of mind in the situations where you do need insurance. And very quickly, last question, uh, average rental. Have you got a, a metric you're allowed to share with us, what people are spending when they do this? Our average rental right now is for two or three days and spans several thousand. But I would like to point out we do have hundreds of options that uh, vary by price point as low as $15 an hour, as I said, up to several thousand. So the world is your oyster and to get out on the water. It sounds good to me. I'll, I'll be selling up the East River. All the best to you and congratulations, Sasha Mornell. The uh, website is Get My Boat and you can get the app as well if you want to go boating. Take care. Thank you. See you on the water. I hope, especially this time of year here in the Northeast. My goodness. Get a suntan, a frozen tan. That'd be fantastic. <laughs>